Helps if I have my mic in front of me. Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we're going to be jumping a little bit out of auto hockeys and into NIM part two. If, else, if, and else. So, very simple script we're going to be doing today, but it'll show you some very good stuff that you should know. Let's go ahead and jump into that code. Now, as you will see, I do not have any syntax highlighting as of right now. I cannot find any for Notepad++. I know I can make my own, but I really don't feel like doing that at the moment. Maybe later down the line when I have a little bit more free time, I'll do it. So sorry about that. You know, it just looks very basic here. So what we're going to be doing is our first line here is a comment. I talk a lot about some of this stuff in the first video, so definitely start there if you haven't. That shows you how to install and do a basic hello world and how to run it and kind of what the run command actually means a little bit better in detail. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and include that in here. This should actually be called, what's it called? Oh, I guess the name's right there. If else. There we go. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to import this module right here. And this module has a bunch of fu basic functionality. Uh, I forget all what it does, but you can just Google it to see every type of thing it has. But we're going to be doing random. That's the only thing we really need for this script. So we're just importing random. And obviously that's just going to pick a random number for us. So we're going to start here with our function uh, randomizing. Uh, so let answer, so answer is our variable. Let just means that down the line, the variable can no longer be changed. We're basically concrete, concrete proofing, I guess you could say, our variable. Uh, I, that's the best I can come up with. <laughs> um, equals, we're going to call upon that random up there, which even though it says random up here, that's the name of the full function, to use it, all we're doing is R-A-N-D. So it's a little better that way. And then we're going to put our number here. What's our max number? We're just going to go with 10 for now. So meaning when we do the randomizer, it's going to pick between, it's going to start with 1, and it's going to go to 10. So that's it. It's going to pick a number of 1 through 10. Uh, so now we're going to do while true, which, you know, it's going to equal true because that means it did pick a number. We're going to do echo. And echo just means in the command prompt, it's going to type that text out and display it for us. And in quotation marks, you're going to put whatever you want to say. In this example, we're just kind of playing a number game here. So it's going to say, I have a number from 1 to 10. What is it? Let guess, base, int, and then in uh, brackets here, we're going to do stdin dot read line. And basically, we're going to type an answer in, press enter. That's going to be saved as our guess, as a variable. Let, meaning we can't change it again. And this basically just here is reading what, it's, it's reading line. So it's reading what we had and then sticking it into that variable for us. Now here's where those ifs kind of come in places that I was uh, originally making this video for. So if guess, so that variable is greater than answer, echo, too low, try again. Or, sorry, less than. I always get those backwards sometimes when I'm reading them <laughs> really fast. So if guess is less than our answer, display this text right here. Then we're going to do another one called else if. And that's almost kind of like having two ifs together really is a kind of a way to look at it. But we're doing else if, and that's just el. If. That's one thing I really like about NIM <clears throat> is it's just they shorthand everything. I mean, that could be a good thing, bad thing. Let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below. I kind of like the shorthand because, I mean, it's a little harder to memorize than saying else if. I got to be like else if. That's only E-L-I-F. I can see it being a little bit harder, but once you get used to it, it's kind of nice because you can type a lot faster. And then we're going to echo, oh, sorry, if guess is greater than answer. So we're doing basically the same thing we did up here. We're just changing that right there to a greater sign. Echo, too high, try again, once again, in quotations. So if neither one of these hits, meaning I got the correct answer, we're going to do our else. 
and we're just going to do else with quotation or sorry uh, colon there and we're going to echo correct so pretty straightforward these are very easy to do very easy to change you know to whatever you want equals greater than less than that kind of stuff or if it equals nine then say this so you can really change this up it doesn't have to be greater or less than um, so you can play around with that so once we do that correct we then want to break which is just basically going to end our program and we're all done so yeah very simple nothing too complex here so we're going to go ahead and run this and we're going to play the game real quick so the first thing you're going to want to do is i mean if you want you can type this out i think it's simpler just to copy and paste it but in the first video i talk about what all this first part means um, just make sure any program you're running you put the name here so this file on my desktop is just called if else dot min so let's go ahead we're going to open man prompt there's other ways to run this but this is kind of an easy way to do in the video so the first thing is we need to point this at our desktop um, i did this in the first video but just to kind of show you you can right click on any file on your desktop or wherever the program is uh, push properties and right here it says location we can just go ahead and copy paste that into here uh, we're going to do cd and then put that file path press enter and now command prompt is targeting my desktop basically um, since i did that i have to go get this again just make sure you don't get that little hashtag pound sign right there depending on what generation you're from um, just because that's the comment this out um, so you don't want that in command prompt so just get everything but that we're then going to paste that into here my file name is correct if else.nim as you see it right here and we're going to go ahead and press enter now nim for some reason sometimes can be a little slow even with such a simple script i was actually a little faster sometimes than usual sometimes it can take 10 seconds i'm not really sure why um, but yeah so there we go we have that echo that i was talking about i have a number from one to ten what is it so I already did that random call so it already has a number it already knows what its number is so we're going to go ahead and we're going to guess five hopefully i don't get it right on the first try too low try again so now we're thinking okay it's between five and ten let's go with eight too low okay let's go with ten there we go. So it said it was correct and it broke and it went back to its normal uh, command prompt functionality waiting for me to type in whatever again. You know, maybe I want to just run the game again or something. You know, five, too high, one, too low, three, too high. So then it is two. Correct. And there we go. All right. That was a quick intro to if, else, if, and else. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you want to see next with NIM. I am doing some videos with NIM, some other languages here and there. The reason why I'm doing these, I normally do 90% of my channel's auto hockeys, but eventually you guys are going to want to branch out a little bit. So I'm kind of doing at least three to five videos, intro videos to different languages. So you can kind of start to get a feel of maybe where do I want to go next or learn at the same time. So let me know what you would want to see next done in NIM and I'll definitely hopefully get around to that. All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you on the next video.